Hello my lovelies, today I've got for you a Primark haul. I've been back again buying more bits and bobs, so let's get straight into it with this. Now, I think I've already shown this on another haul, in fact I know I have, but it wasn't the right size. So I've been back and bought another one or I exchanged it for a 12 to 13. So it's a kid's top, hooded top, not so keen on this, optimist. But I absolutely love the sort of, it's not a polka dot, but it, it, I wouldn't quite call it animal, animal print, but black and white sort of, no it's not, cream and white sort of design. And get the price out, £6 down to three. So we've got a bit of a theme going on with these colours. You know I love pink and I've just realised I've bought two of the same thing. I thought I had, what an idiot. Anyway. I could take one back, but I bought, I love this colour, I absolutely love it. So I bought two of these, apparently, vests. This one's not even got a tag on it. That's not very helpful. Won't be that one that's going back. Anyway, a couple of these, I'll keep one, take one back. The thin sort of little vest tops, both in the same size, thankfully. Uh, eight, uh, excess six to eight, one pound. 80, I think these are. Yeah, I love this colour. I really do. So I'm hoping this colour suits me. Let me know in the comments down below if you think it does. And then also in this colour, I spotted a little plain t-shirt. I don't need any more t-shirts, but I love, I just, I love this colour. £2.50. Nice little, it's not a cap sleeve, but it's not a, an overly long sleeve. Just a plain t-shirt. Now this next one is a rather wacky colour. Absolutely love it. But again, am I too old for it? I'm actually going on holiday soon to Italy and I'm hoping to get a bit of a suntan. Uh, yeah, so I can rock this colour. Wait for it. Look at that. Oh my word. I love it. Um, it's sort of a lime green, isn't it? And it's the, uh, the sort of, not quite racer back, but the high back vest top. Yeah, I'm not sure when I'll wear it. I just love the colour of it. It was 2 50 so I'm not sure when I'm going to wear it because it is quite a wacky colour. But I'm thinking maybe with a pair of black shorts for bed. Or even black shorts in the day. I suppose when you're on holiday, you don't mind so much with the colours, but I love that. So talking of my holiday to Italy, saw this. So... My little bag that I normally use, it's a lovely little thing. It's sort of a silvery white colour with sparkles on it, but it's wrecked. I've used it so much. And they had quite, they had a lot of these in different colours. They had them in blue, pink, cream, black, a couple of others. I was tempted to get the cream, but I thought it might get a bit dirty. But of an evening when it's really hot, I don't want a massive handbag. I just want something that will hold a bit of money, key, phone this is perfect it was or it is four pounds and it opens up to be a crossbody bag absolutely perfect four pounds that is lovely for a little holiday bag and because i won't have a lot of space to pack this will pop in very nicely so i'm due to go to italy hmm, end of june so if you're interested in me doing a compact with me video for that I think I've done one previously, but I've got quite a few new followers since then. But if you're interested in seeing that, drop me in a comment down below and uh, I'll consider filming it for you. For £2, I got this contraption with these big suckers on the back. So this is a bowl makeup brush cleaner used with warm soapy water or a makeup brush cleanser to easily clean your makeup brushes. So... Let's get it out and have a look. So there it is. Oh my goodness, it's like a little buff. <laughs> look at that. So it's got different textures on. A little hole where you can, uh, let's get one, pop your brush. And a little gap where you can pop your brush, like so. So you put your cleanser in there, a bit of water with your brush, and then the different textures. Give it a good old scrub against. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to giving that a go, actually. I hate cleaning makeup brushes, as I'm sure we all do. So anything to help me out, 
is much appreciated. A couple of packs of the cleansing wipes, two of those you get, I've already used one for a pound, absolutely love this one. The H2O micellar water um, wipes, the biodegradable, and these, um, for all skin types, these are really good on waterproof makeup as well, waterproof mascara, really like those. Got myself a new bra. I've got one of the nude colored bras. Right, can we have a little discussion in the comments down below? about nude underwear so got a nude bra bought myself some new sort of pinky nudie colored knickers to match it in the packet they look lovely on the body however i do not like it they they look awful i don't know what it is there's no sort of break from your skin color to the to the um the material of the knickers I don't know, what are your thoughts on skin coloured underwear? Because I'm not feeling it. So, the nude one might go out the way and uh, make way for this one. I know sometimes we need nude coloured underwear because of the clothes we wear. You don't want to see underwear through it. But I still have a husband, so I don't want to be looking to uh, Bridget Jones. So, yeah, this one is, I think this is classed as peach. No, it's not. It's coral. Coral, that's coral. Anyway, whatever. Uh, T-shirt bra, this is great, three quid. In fact, I think they've put the price up from 250. Mm. But I like these because they've got a little bit of lace, a little bit of lace on. I used to love these in black, but they seem to have stopped doing them with the lace on, which is a bit of a shame. So yeah, I'm going to uh, out the nude one and the peach coral bra is going to go in instead. With a little vest top, love this. This is a very neutral sort of colour, isn't it? Again, £1.80. So for 80 pence, I bought some of these a while back. They are a little mini lint roller. Roller. I haven't got a lot of, a lot of stuff on, but I suppose for 80p, you're not expecting too much. But yeah, they're great. And these are ideal for travel. Travel size lint rollers. Everybody lo loves getting a bit of the old... Uh, especially if you've got pets. Get the old hair off. Unfortunately, I don't have that problem anymore. Got another pack of the black socks, crew socks. You get five pairs for £1.80. The only thing is, they've started putting the blooming size on the inside of them, printing. In fact, I think that might be even sewn in. I suppose for families who have got loads of socks going on, you might need to know that for uh, identifying them, but I much preferred when they're just plain black. I got myself some headbands. So... As you know, I've got very long hair, but I get a lot of this going on. And it's annoying me considerably. I, I can't complain because a lot of it's new hair coming through, which I'm absolutely delighted about. But we get the odd fly away. And because I go everywhere on my bike, everything sticks out. So I thought I'm going to try some headbands. Didn't want big, I don't really want big ones because I don't think I'll suit them very much, but I thought maybe a, a little discreet one. You get five for one pound, which is absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to get one out and see if they're any good. Anyway, before I do that, you get black, clear, silver, gold, and a brown one for a pound. So let's try the gold one. Ooh! That might be helpful. You can't see it from the front, which is what I'm quite pleased about because I don't, well, it doesn't matter if you can see it or not, but yeah, look at that, it holds it all back. I suppose I can cope with it like that. Very pleased. And then for 60p, I've got this lovely little nail varnish. I've had a few of these from Primark before, absolutely fine. It's just a quick dry nail polish. It's not massive, but really nice colour. I love that. And then finally, I can't believe I'm saying this. I know I've said no more nails, no more false nails, but my Primark store in Chelmsford has my favorite false nails. I absolutely cannot believe it. They have never stopped. No, tell a lie. They must have stopped them in the first instance for me to get addicted to them but they haven't stocked them for i would say at least two years and they've not got a very big 
nail display, so I, I cannot believe that they are now here. Anyway, pop the price up from two pounds two fifty, but I don't mind. So they are the French Shimmer now, or Shimmer Frenchy. If I've got a picture of what they look like when I've put them on and cut them down, I'll pop it in now. So I'm not sure what they do with these nails, but they are a lot thicker than normal plastic nails. These are quite thick actually, but these weren't from Primark. But Primark nails are usually quite flimsy. Um, these, once they're on, they look like acrylics because they're a lot thicker. But for me, this style is a little bit too long, a bit too long for work. So what I do is I cut them down and then shape them into, you know, almond or a, a coffin shape, whatever you like. But they're really nice and I'm absolutely delighted that they're back in my Primark. So I bought four packs. I've still got plenty of others, but just in case they stop selling them, not taking any risks. So that's that one done. Hope you've enjoyed it. Not sure about this headband, but there we go. My problem is when I went on a holiday recently with Alan to um, the Lake District and my hair kept coming across in the wind and sticking on my um, lip gloss. So even if it keeps that in bay, it's worth it. So yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching. So if you've enjoyed it, please do give me a big thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, maybe you might consider hitting the old button and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now and thank you very, no, that's the wrong way around. Thanks for watching, bye for now. <laughs>